everyone, this is Pavlina from Pavlina's Kids Place. I'm on location at the Bob Kai Performing Arts Center with Broadway on Tour in the Heights cast member David Beta. Awesome. And um, you play the Piragua guy? Piragua guy, right. Okay, well hello. Hello. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for having this interview with me. Yes. Um, and you probably play the most colorful actor on the stage as the Puag Piagua guy. Mm -hmm. um, what, how did you prepare for this role and what's make this role special for you? Okay, well, um, I did prepare for it. Actually, I this show takes place in a part of Manhattan, New York that's called uh, Washington Heights. And I actually live in Washington Heights. Um, and so uh, I lived there for two years before I found out I got this part. Mm -hmm. And luckily for me, every time I get out of the subway, you know, station, there was usually a Piragua guy there during the summer mm -hmm. months when it's really hot. Uh, because that's when they make their money and they sell their, they're basically Puerto Rican snow cones, just like mm -hmm. an icy type thing. He scrapes the, an ice block with a little scraper, fills up the cup with ice, and then he pours different flavors, tropical flavors on there. And um, I would see the guy, you know, the guy selling these piragos all the time. And so uh, once I found out I got the part, I was excited. I went and I started talking to them and asking them questions. I asked them, you know, what's it like? Is it long hours? Are you hot? <laughs> you know, is it must be really hard to be in the heat all the time. But I said they're used to it. Um, mm -hmm. And they told me about how they had to get licenses to sell on the street. You know, you have okay. to be official. Um, so yeah, I prepared that way. I also took, for the show, I took Spanish uh, classes, salsa classes, and I also took voice lessons, some more voice lessons, mm -hmm. just to prepare. Um, what makes the part special for me, um, first of all, I, it's, a, it's a wonderful part. It's, it's a lot of fun. I get to do a lot of the humor, bring the humor to the show. Whenever the show gets a little serious, you know, then I pop out and usually, you know, try to make people laugh or sing, you know, I sing my songs. And uh, first of all, my song the, is called Piragua and mm -hmm. it's a really fun, beautiful song. Um, and it's the song that most people, when they see the show, they said, I can't get that song out of my head. You mm -hmm. know? So that's great to be able to sing that song that most people remember when they walk out, out of the theater. So um, it's just great to be a part of the whole show, though. So. Yeah, so that's good. Mm -hmm. And um, the song that you call is Plaga, um, mm -hmm. is a little bit about your life and about Mr. Softy um, right. trying to shut you down. <laughs> Do you think you could sing a little bit? Uh, sure. Uh, let's see. Um, uh, okay. Piragua, Piragua, Nubla Cavai Piragua, Piragua, Piragua. So sweet and nice piragua. Tengo de mango, tengo de parcha, de piña y de fresa. Tengo de china, de limón, de peso y de peseta. Piragua. There you go. <laughs> that was really good. Thank okay. you. Um, and did you always want to do theater? Because you have a BA degree um, in drama for the University of California. And um, how did you get interested in that? I have always been interested in theater since uh, since I was in, I don't know if they call it middle school, junior high school, mm -hmm. that's what they call it back where I'm from. And um, you know, I don't. I had a friend who was really into this drama class, he took a drama class and said, you should really do it, I think you'd be good at it. So I took the class and um, ended up doing a musical, the first musical I ever did called Armis Brooks. And I just loved being on the stage, I loved having people's attention, you know, and mm -hmm. And then once I found out that I could sing a little bit, I had teachers that said, you really need to study singing. I said, really? And so that got me interested. And then later on, when I was a little bit older, I saw a movie called East of Eden with an actor called James Dean, who's a famous actor from the 1950s. And I thought he was the most incredible actor I'd ever seen. And the, his performance really touched me. And from that point on, I said, I want to be an actor. I want to go to New York like he did. And I want to do theater. That's really cool. Yeah. And I've talked to a lot of great people in performing arts, and they've always had obstacles that they had to overcome. Mm. And um, did you have any difficult problems, and did you have to overcome them um, in order to succeed in musical theater for your <laughs> career? Yes. Um, you know, it's, it's a hard business because you spend a lot of time going into a room and singing for somebody or reading a scene and some, sometimes they, you don't, they don't really show interest in you and they just say thank you and 
it's hard. It kind of hurts, you know, if they don't, you want, of course, people to like you, you know, every time, but that doesn't always happen. So uh, sometimes the rejection can be kind of hard. For me, to be honest, I actually gave up theater a couple of times during my my lifetime because I said I need a break I need to do something different sort of get recharged but luckily I've always had very good friends um, to sort of get me back into theater and with this show I actually had a regular job that was non-theater you know I did it for two years and my best friend who's actually here in town with me he saw this show on Broadway and said David I've never seen a part more perfect for you in my life you have to audition for it and at the time I was really like ah. Uh, you know, I'm done mm -hmm. with that part of my life. I don't think I'm going to do it. It took him about a year to convince me. Uh -huh. And I still didn't want to go, but he called me up on my, on my job, on my, and he said, I signed you up for the audition. Okay. Go on your lunch break. And that's what I did, and I ended up getting this amazing show. So it's, um, it's you know, it can be a tough business, but luckily, like, I had very good friends who believed in me and believed in my talent, and they pushed me, mm -hmm. so, you know, so... That's, that's what I've had to overcome, you know. Okay, that's very cool. And did you always find yourself singing or humming the songs um, when you're not on stage? And are the songs like stuck in your head? Oh gosh, yes. Um, we laugh all the time because on our days off, all of the cast, sometimes we are traveling at the airport or on the plane or on the bus, wherever. And you just can't help but start, if you hear something, a snippet of a song that's similar to a song in the show or words that are similar to the lyrics in the show, in the show we, somebody will start singing the song. And then usually everybody else goes, ah, oh, it's our day off, please. We can't, <laughs> you know, not right now. Um, so yes, they do get stuck in your head. I particularly love um, this song called Hundreds of Stories and I always am singing that. In fact, we're usually backstage singing along with the songs while it's <laughs> going on on stage if we're not on there. So yeah, they do get stuck in your head. <laughs> okay. And how is Orlando different from some of the other areas you performed while doing In the Heights? Because when I interviewed Christine mm -hmm. from Phantom, um, she said in, I think it was Japan, uh -huh. um, that they never, like, they never clapped um, well, like they ended a scene, they always clapped at the end. And oh, stuff, yeah. So. Well, yeah, you know, different cultures have different ways of appreciating theater, and it's the same here in the United States. Different cities have just, it's like the whole audience has its own, or the city has sort of a personality. You know, in certain cities, like St. Louis, I think, will always stick out in my mind because they, I don't think they're maybe exposed to this kind of, maybe they've never been to New York, they've never seen what this is like in New York, or maybe they don't listen to the kind of music that we have, salsa and merengue and everything. So it's so foreign to them. And mm -hmm. sometimes they're just kind of, they're just taking it all in and they don't, didn't really respond much. And we were like, you know, working so hard trying to get them to, you know, like us. And at the end they clapped, but they weren't very vocal during the show. Mm -hmm. What's great about Orlando since we've gone here first is the weather. We love the mm -hmm. weather out here, which makes us all very happy. Uh, we've been in the winter, all these different storms in many different cities. But when we come here last night, the audience was incredible. So that's always great. It's great when you have a lot of um, Latinos who come to see the show because they really appreciate the show a lot. And everybody seems to, you know, catch on at some point, you know, mm -hmm. in the show. So, um, yeah, the audiences have been great here. So we're very, we're very happy. Okay, good. And what are your plans for the future and websites and contact information? Okay, well, um, uh, we're going to be doing this tour for a while. I've, I know that we're booked right now f through November and possibly through the middle of next year. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to be still doing that, ho hopefully as long as I can, because I, I love doing my part. Um, and after that, I'll probably, you know, if, you know, nothing comes up, I'll probably be out there auditioning again for other shows. I do have a website, and uh, it's basically www.david, D-A-V-I-D, my last name with B-A-I-D-A, dot com. And you can listen to me, you know, sing on there and find contact information, read my reviews and stuff. I post mm -hmm. everything up there, pictures. So, yeah, you can contact me that way. <laughs> okay. And the website, again, is www.david, um, B-A-I-D-A dot com. And the other contact information is david, uh, D-A-I, or D-A-V-I-D. Um, B A I D A at hotmail.com. Well, thank you for talking to me. Thank you, Pavlina. It's nice to meet you.